So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? This is Joe from Zef War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys my take on the A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon deck. Now, this is um, fully aimed to bring out. A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon, um, while also using the concept that Dale had in his previous Ojama ABZ deck, um, where you, you kind of use A to Z as a target for Ojama Simulation to get back your ABC Dragon Buster, since he is limited to one, you can then continuously reuse him. So, this is both a mixture of my own personal concept as well as his take on the idea as well melded together while also using new support from the latest uh, booster set but also using um, new support from the machina structure that recently came out so if you enjoyed this take on the deck and this idea in this video and this whole profile as a whole then give us a like give us a subscribe doing that greatly helps us a lot it's a small little thing that you guys can do that just helps us here on the channel a lot and we greatly do appreciate it so with that said and done Let's get into the profile. So I'm playing two copies each of the A, B, and C. I like to just play two copies of each. I feel like, um, considering we're not mainly focused just on A, B, C as a whole, just on its own, um, I don't like to play maximum copies because I don't want to brick too much on them in my hand. I kind of just want to summon them out from the deck and then get my um, fusion plays going as well as my C plays going as well. So I just like to play two of each of those and I also play one each of the X, Y and Z. Um, I always say whenever I look at these like I wish they did a retrain of X head cannon to just be an effect monster, um, an effect union but uh, unfortunately Konami just can't give us that concept in that retrain um, that we generally need for the X, Y, Z's but you just play one of each because you just summon them off the deck with your Jama simulation and another tech that I'm playing in the deck, um, which we'll get to later on, and then you can start going into your XYZ Dragon Cannon, which is very, very nice. And I played two additional Union targets in the forms of one heavy mech support armor. I really like this card just because you can also just get back one of your Unions and then just go either to an XE's play or a help you go into a fusion play or a link play. And we're playing one of the brand new. Union Driver. So this guy's level five Union Machine with twenty-one attack and a thousand defense. And it's once per turn, you can tar you can either target one face up monster you control, equip this card to that target, or unequip and special summon it. If the equipped monster will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. And while this card is equipped to a monster, you can banish this equipped card, equipped to a equip one level four or lower appropriate Union from your deck to the monster this card was equipped to. Can use this effect of Union Driver once per turn. Here's a brand new card from the main booster set that is nicely added to the ABC archetype, um, where you can just like equip any of the ABC pieces to your ABCs to the others, and you can just go off from there. So it's a nice thing to equip with either your Northwise Reactivation or Union Hanger, which is very very cool. And then we're getting to the Ojama parks. I still actually play the Ojamas. I think the underrated engine in ABC um, decks as a whole. And I think I found a really cool way to just utilize them was while also not bricking too much on them. So we're playing two, bl uh, three blues, two reds, and only one yellow. So um, the main concept on this is that yellow helps us with another tech that I'm playing in the deck. Blue is the general consistency for the whole um, Ojama engine. Since when he's destroyed, you get to add two Ojama cards from deck to hand. And uh, so you can just add blue. You can just add like a red or uh, a yellow or another blue. And then a copy of your Ojama simulation. Then you've got two Ojamas that you can straight away banish off your simulation to get two Union cards on the field. Which is very very nice and we do play another tech in the deck to combo with blue 
which can not only remove threats on your opponent's board, but also get that consistency going. Red, I play as just as a two of, just because you can normal summon this and get either a link player going off, um, like a union hanger. No, your union driver carrier, because um, all the Ojamas are light and they're beasts. So that's an instant union uh, uh, carrier. But you can also go into a rank two play, which you will get to later on in the extra. And yellow, as I said before, goes very well with a tech that I'm playing in the deck just to help you get those link plays going off. Uh, so that's it for the uh, Ojamas. I just played this engine just because you're not then bricking on the Ojama Magic. You're not having to force the Ojama Magic to go off, getting all the vanillas to your hand. If you just play it like this, you just get enough van Ojamas going off, which you at least just need two. Then you can start going into your Ojama Simulation players, which, speaking of, we do play three of it. Very, very nice card. Very cool card. Um, again, very underrated, I think. And uh, as Dale said, as Dale showed in his previous profile in his Ojama ABC deck, can help you get your ABC going over and over again. And we're playing three of the brand new on off fires reactivation. This is a really cool card for the ABC decks and Union decks in general. Because you target a, a machine you control, you equip one appropriate machine Union from your hand or deck to that monster. But the Union monster you equip cannot be special summoned this turn. So very very nice card, quick play spell. So if you can set this card, and if your big big boss fusion so is going to be affected by any card effects, you can flip this, equip an appropriate ABC piece, and then you can start protecting those as well. Uh, then we have three copies of the Union Hanger. Mandatory, you've got to play three of this card. Play one Terraforming. And one Set Rotation. And it's not Mystic Mine. It's Ojama Country. Because <laughs> we're playing the Ojamas already. I figured, um, and since this deck is primarily field-based, based, based uh, in the sense that you want to get your Union Hanger in play, why not play set rotation then just play an Ojama target? So we're playing the Ojama Country as that um, second field spell target. But you can also use this if you do have to. You can play this and start bringing back your Ojamas and go into link plays. Then replace it with a Union Hanger and just go off from there. So I do like the tech of Ojama Country with set rotation. It's just another way to get to your Union Hanger. We're playing one Forged Burial. And the tech that I've been speaking of this whole profile is three copies of Unexpected Die. We play the actual X Head Cannon, you naturally have to play X Head Cannon in an A to Z deck. Um, but because we're playing the Ojamas, I figured instead of playing all the Ojamas, I just play the one vanilla and then I just play this, max out on this, and I'm guaranteed to either get that Ojama vanilla if I just need that additional Ojama target for my Ojama simulation, or if I know I can get to the XYZ Dragon Cannon, I can then just go Unexpected Die. This plus Union Hanger is an uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon straight off the bat. Like, no, ex no explanations there. You play Die, get your X Head, play Union Carrier, uh, Union Hanger, add the Y, it's normal Y, equip Z from the deck, banish all three, you've got your XYZ. Very, very nice little combo there. And I just really like the tech of Union of Unexpected Die in this deck. It's really, really cool. It gives extra purpose to X Head Cannon, which is very, very nice. Then we play three copies of Cool by the Grey because we are a search primary search based deck. You don't want your field spell being ashed. One copy of Monster Reborn. And the other spicy tech that I'm playing in this deck is the Creature Swap. You can play this, normal your blue, play Creature Swap, and they either have to negate this or you're taking one of their monsters, which is very, very funny. And then you give them a blue. Then you kill your own blue in battle. And then you search two Ojama cards. Like, just just plays for days, man. Just like, just cheeky plays for days. I may add in a second one of this and take out one of these two cards, which is either Union Scrambled or Ojama Pajama. I actually like Union Scrambled. I think it's a little underrated. And it just helps you swarm the field very, very nicely. And then your Ojama Pajama, you're playing the Ojama cards. So this just helps you get more Ojama cards and get up extra cards from your deck to grave. Uh, and then um, it also gives your fusions protection, which is very, very handy. Uh, it's a very, very nice card. Searchable off blue as well. 
Uh, so that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, your big, big boss monsters A to Z. Uh, you get this card out, you're in a very, very good, strong position. Uh, excuse the doorbell. Um, yeah, I really like this card, I think it's really, really cool. And to help make it, you have your XYZ Dragon Cannon and your ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, standard, all your big boss monsters here. Uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon is a really, really cool card, and the fact it's not once per turn, I really, really like it. Uh, though I do play the one YZ tank uh, dragon as well, just because if I have to, just get that boss monster in the field. Or I believe that he does pop uh, face down monsters. So if you're up against like a flip base deck, you can just make your YZ uh, with your Y and Z, and then you can just use this effect, discard a card, and pop that face down monster. Very, very cool. I just like it as just an additional target that is just like a one card union carry play. Uh, moving on to EXTs, we're playing the one uh, number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sandu. Uh, this is a target for your Ajama cards, like your Ajama Red. You can normal red, summon Ajama, make this go off. Uh, just get an additional body presence. Uh, for rank 4, we're playing one Digaster Emerald, shuffle cards back. One Abyss Dweller for the uh, Graveyard Negation. 141, Tai Tampa. One Gear Gigan X for the machine searches, one Bujin Taisuki Army for those hand shuffles. For the links we're playing is one Borlo Dragon. I do apologize for the background noise. Uh, one Borlo Dragon, one Topologic Bomber Dragon, one the Triple Burst Dragon, one Platinum Gadget, and uh, the obvious one Union Carrier. So guys, I hope you enjoy this profile. It's just my personal take on the A to Z deck. Um, a really fun deck, really cool, and I really do enjoy playing it. It has a lot of niche uh, strategies and combos that you can do. And being able to just utilize XYZ Dragon Cannon on the classic Kyber Fusion Monsters is really, really cool as well. So as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, as always, happy dueling.